A standard camera transmits full frames at a fixed frame rate. By contrast, a DVS has smart pixels. Its pixels are all independent of each other and only transmit information if they detect a change of brightness in the scene. We call these bits of information events. Since these events are generated asynchronously, the output of a DVS is a sequence of events instead of full frames. To visualize this principle, in this animation, we show the output of a camera and that of a DVS when they are both looking at a black dot on a rotating disk. As we can observe, for the DVS, the events form a spiral in space and time. When the disk stops rotating, no events are generated at all. However, a standard camera continues to wastefully send full image frames. When we speed up the dot, the images of the standard camera suffer from motion blur, while the spiral of events is still clearly visible. This is due to the very high temporal resolution of the DVS, which is in the order of microseconds. When we keep the DVS steady, only motion in the scene generates events. However, when we start moving the DVS, gradients in the scene become visible. In the following experiment, we mounted the DVS in a standard camera on a quadrocopter and performed flips. When we replay the flips in slow motion, we can clearly see motion blur effects on the standard camera. However, if we render the DVS output appropriately, we can still see sharp lines. For these DVS renderings, we accumulate all the events over a time interval of delta t in one image. By choosing this delta t small, we can render slow motion video. The high temporal resolution of the DVS allows us to track the quadrocopter during flips with rotational speeds of up to 1200 degrees per second. We believe that a DVS is the most promising onboard sensor for enabling highly aggressive maneuvers with flying robots.